We are back with another fun favorite team to use on the harder stages of the game. It's gonna be the Final Fantasy V team featuring Faris, Galuf and Bots. Uh, I've been trying to get a clear score with this team since yesterday, but I kept completing at exactly 80, 86 turns, which was driving me mad, to be honest. But then um, I, de I, I, I decided to try with a Firion friend because up until that point I was only going with Cloud friend and whatever road I chose to clear the stage I was only finishing at 86 turns which really sucked but as you will see in a bit Firion support did the, tri did the tri trick for me because if you manage to pull off his EX twice, one of them being inside the summon phase, you're gonna do over 150k uh, overall damage. Um, I thought of going with Firion because the last stage has three uh, mannequins and his EX would get most uh, value there. Now, um, for this I even tried, uh, I farmed Ifrit to master my my five passives and uh, I almost did, but I, I, I just need like 400 points more to get the crit passive, which in my opinion is the least important. And it's always good and it, it, it always feels nice when I get to use Galuf once again because he's one of my favorite characters in the game as you're about to see here um, as soon as I use his second blade block and activate his counter he's gonna be countering left and right, left and right and he's basically gonna be getting off a lot of damage and he's really turn efficient and Faris though is in a very weird uh, place right now in global because her max brave is really is really huge she has a really huge pool of max brave but she's at the place where her only damaging skill is water well and she ends up either having two HP attack or um, having to leak a lot of brave when she uses her water world because as you, will, as you will see here whenever I use water world um, she caps her brave with no problem but she leaks like crazy um, with the exception of Emperor because um, I figured that from all the mannequins in this stage, he has the highest defense, Espe especially when he has the physical resist buff on him. Now, if you're gonna use Faris on this stage, make sure that you dispel the Brave Regeneration buff that the mannequin, uh, the mannequin um, Firion gets from his uh, Seize attack because that buff alone uh, could cause you to get white. The only mannequin... No, actually there are two mannequins in this stage that Galuf can, can counter. It's uh, Emperor on the first wave, which doesn't really matter, to be honest, because at the first half of the first wave, your Galuf is not gonna be having his counter activated anyway because you have to use his blade block twice as I said earlier and the other mannequin is Yuna in the last wave who is honestly the most dangerous out of the three in that way in my opinion since she can battle them like crazy and remove all of the debuffs as you will see in a bit gonna finish off Emperor with Faris and 
you can see here that out of the three, um, she has the most max brave. I tried clearing this with the brother summon, but um, my Galuf counters were not hitting for 9999 9, and I wanted to maximize his damage. As you will see here, he's always, he, he's always countering for that amount, which is really good, especially when you have two or three melee opponents. Now Sephiroth will use his Heartless Angel, as we've said previously. Um, here I'm just wondering if I should, uh, how will I be able to dump Bray with Galuf? But then I realized I don't need to because as soon as Cloud attacks, my Galuf will counter him and he will dump his Brave anyway. So that's. That's another good thing with Galuf, you don't need to worry about him leaking or how he's going to dump his brave. Um, another thing to keep in mind when using Galuf, um, since he's countering for 9999, if you, if you are about to use brave plus and he's over 9000 brave don't do it just use hp plus and dump your brave because when when it's time to counter he's gonna leak like crazy as you will see here from 10000 he was out, he, he was about to go to 18 so i leaked there because he's Max Brave buff went off on the previous turn. And there we go again. 12k damage without even uh, playing on his own. Um, I think some Japanese players uh, said that Garuf is also really good for the first uh, one or for the first or second Cosmo stages, if I'm not mistaken, so I'm really excited to use him there as well. He does suffer from some longevity issues because he's, uh, he doesn't have any eggs and his skill uses are limited at best since he has to refresh his uh, cover buff whenever it, whenever it runs out. And here, as you will see, 9,999, 9, and we we almost didn't didn't leak any brave there. I was a perfect counter from 10,000 to 19,900. I mean, if you if you keep attention from, let's say from the start of the second wave until the end, you will and count up how much damage Galuf does. In c compared to Faris or Bats, you will be very surprised. I'm gonna explain my train of thought in the last wave, uh, in the last wave when I switched uh, in Ferion and uh, how I decided to go with the rotation I did. My bats could have lasted a, a little bit longer if I had utilized his Brave Plus more than I did here, but it worked out in the end. He doesn't really need his Brave Plus uh, that much yet, but um, I figure out we're gonna use it a lot more when Cosmos hits global. Gonna dump Brave with HP plus with Faris because no need to use your skill. Galv's, Galv will counter. Gonna go for the HP plus here and Bats with fin finish off with HP attack. And we also get a nice knockup at the end.
Now, here's the hardest wave of the stage. Thankfully, we got a, a good lineup from the enemy mannequins, so I was able to push Yuna a bit further away. I'm gonna go with C's attack on Firion first in order to get his huge Max Brave buff on him. I went for the water wall here just to break Tidus and line them up perfectly. And here I'm just gonna go for the EX on Yuna. Now Tidus always goes for his slash combo first and it was really fortunate that he targeted Firion because uh, Firion is uh, gonna heal himself back up again no matter what. Here I go for the EX because he already has his Max Brave buff and if I use his EX on his second turn he's gonna have it up again uh, on his last turn before uh, getting switched back. Gonna go for the Blood Weapon here to get his unique buff up. And as you see, he's right back at full HP again. It's just beautiful. I still believe that Cloud deals more damage than Firion, but for this particular wave, I think Firion is just miles ahead of Cloud. Here we're gonna go for the Seize attack to batter the party while doing maximum damage. We're gonna try and finish off Yuna as fast as possible because when Galus comes back he's gonna have no problem dealing with Jack and Tidus because they are both melee and yeah, they are useless against him. And look at this EX here, 53k damage for every enemy mannequin. This is why the uh, Firion got the win for me. I He actually got me the win three turns earlier than any cloud support could so that was really surprising now Galf comes back he's gonna use blade block on Yuna we're gonna finish her off with Bart CX and we're going to let Faris just soak up the damage this is the only HP damage I'm gonna suffer until the end because I don't have a healer in the party, but that's okay. I needed to put blade block up before using cover again. And here comes the counters. <laughs> gonna dump 14k brave here because my bat is running low on abilities as you saw there my bat my galoop was at zero brave and i decided to brave plus because i'm gonna i'm gonna counter and hit for 19,000 next turn and when you have a galoop in the party uh, it's better to make sure that you let him break the enemy when he counters, so just attack the broken enemy with the rest of your party. Now I, I am 10, 10 turns, uh, I'm sorry, I'm 5 turns of the, of the required amount and I can see my turn order that before the 85 turns are over they are going both of the mannequins are going to attack me and they are going to get countered. So at this point, I am not worried about not getting the score. We're gonna use HP plus here with Galuf. Finish object. And Tidus is gonna get himself killed with Galuf's counter. And that's the stage, guys. Uh, I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye bye.